the difference between an SVG and a DXF digital file. They are both vector files, but an SVG can retain a color or pattern fill and settings such as group and compound path. A DXF is composed of wireframes. If you use a Silhouette Cameo vinyl cutter and use their studio design software, you will see that there are different upgrades you can purchase that allow more features for a one-time fee. The software is exactly the same, but with each upgrade, there are more features that become unlocked. And don't get this confused with an update, which is a free and basically in place just to fix bugs. So if you download the free basic edition, you are able to import and export studio files. Those are proprietary studio files and can only be opened with studio design software and illegal to sell. Another file type that you are able to import into the free basic edition is a DXF. It is a vector graphic, but in its very basic form. It is a wireframe, but it can be edited, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. An SVG is a scalable vector graphic, which can be sized or scaled up or down, meaning you can make it smaller or larger without losing any quality. It also is editable, and it retains the commands such as group and fill. If you have a designer edition, designer edition plus, you can import an SVG. And if you have the basic, I'm sorry, if you have the basic edition, you cannot import an SVG. But if you have the business edition, you can not only import an SVG, you can create a graphic file and then export it or save it as an SVG. So let's see an example. I'm going to go ahead and take this SVG that has different shapes. Uh, fill, a solid color fill, and a pattern fill. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into its own file right here. So I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my hard drive and I do have the business edition. So I'm going to save it as an SVG. So say I want to get it off my software here and save it on my hard drive and maybe put it on an external hard drive so I can save it for later and free up some space. What I do, um, and if, I don't know, for some reason I have a new computer and I have the basic edition and I want to import a DXF, I'm going to go into Illustrator and I'm going to place that SVG on here takes a while because of the fill, the pattern. That's a heavy graphic. I got it from Shutterstock. But I'm going to put it here in Illustrator, and Illustrator allows me to save it as a DXF because the Silhouette software does not. All right, so I lost, I lost my fill a little bit here, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to retain it. I'm going to export this as a DXF. I'm going to call it a test, and right here it's DXF, export, and I'm going to go back into Studio. I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to go File, Merge. I'm going to find that test DXF. It's going to open right here and see, this was the exact same file. It went from here to here. Now these are all separate pieces, so that's what you get when you get a DXF. But you can make it look just like this. If you have even the free basic edition of Studio software, you can just color all these in. So I'm going to take the inside part, go to the art palette here, and make it pink. I'm going to go to the tongue here. I'm going to, well, let's do the tongue last. So this inside part is black the teeth, which you can't see anymore, if I can find it. Where are the teeth? There they are. Those are white. These two little things, the shine marks. There are four of them. I'm not really getting them on, or am I? No. Come on, get that one. There we go. Those are white. And then the top, wait, this back here is black and this tongue 
which I know is separate. Hey, come on, come on. There we go. All right, so I'll show you how to do the pattern fill. So where the fill pattern panel is, there's this pattern option. Uh, actually, I don't do it that way. I go to my library and I choose patterns and then I go ahead and just pick. I pick one and it automatically changes. I love that. Um, so you, the great thing about the studio design software, and even with the basic edition, the free edition, it comes with this feature. You can pan this, say I don't like where it is. I want a little, I want to move it around a little bit. Um, say I want to scale it. Like I want them bigger, I want them smaller. You can totally do that. And say I want to get rid of these two little shine marks because I don't like them. I like to see the, the pattern. You can delete those two. So look, this was a DXF and look what I did with it. And it looks just like the SVG, except I didn't choose the same pattern fill and I deleted these two. So um, you can get real creative with the DXF with the free version. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Um, I will also um, leave a link to my Facebook group. I'm always posting my videos to my Facebook group. You can subscribe if you'd like. You can click the notification bell. That way you'll get a message letting you know every time I upload a new video. It's always some kind of tutorial on how to use your Silhouette Cameo vinyl cutter or um, work with Adobe Illustrator. I don't know it too well. I also actually follow videos to learn Adobe Illustrator a little bit better, but whenever I learn something new, I'm going to pass it on to you guys. So um, I hope you learned something and uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.